Hey, Rusty. Oh, you did that again. Sorry about that. Hey, what you doing? Oh, uh, I'm just reading the, the paper here. I'm checking out my horoscope, see what's going to happen to me today. Ooh, Rusty, you shouldn't really read that stuff. Why? It's harmless, and it's just for, it's just for fun. Well, uh, it's got a little bit of influence, and it's got some power to it, too, that you may not know about. Oh, I can't see how it has any power. It's just words on a paper. Well, did you do your Sunday school lesson today? Uh, no. Well, then it looks like it's got a little bit of power uh, if it didn't make you do your Sunday school lesson. This reminds me of a story in the Bible with Simon, just right after uh, Stephen was stoned. Uh, Simon was a man that he played around with magic and astrology and all this kind of stuff too. And it wasn't from God. That power wasn't from God. And he just wanted people to follow him and have all this recognition and fame and stuff like that. Oh, that sounds kind of interesting. I think I got a really old movie somewhere in the archives and uh, maybe I'll dig it up and see if it's still there and uh, go from there. Where do you get these movies from? Oh good, this projector still works. Okay, now for some time, a man named Simon had practiced sorcery. Here he is, that Simon. In the city, he amazed all the people of Samaria. He boasted he was so great, and people said he had the great power of God because he amazed them with his sorcery. I don't, I don't think that's you on the piano with your five years piano lessons. But then the people seen Philip, that guy that took Stephen's place from last week. They believed him instead of Philip, as Philip spoke the truth as he proclaimed about the good news of the kingdom of God. Now Philip was busy. He was baptizing both men and women. Because it actually sounds like someone who practiced between lessons. And Simon, he goes, hmm, I'm, I want to get baptized myself. So he goes, yeah, I'm going to get baptized myself too. And then the apostles in Jerusalem heard what was going on. They sent Peter and John to Samaria. And they're there talking. And then John goes, let's go. There he goes. When they arrived, they prayed that these new believers would receive the Holy Spirit. That guy looks really familiar. Simon saw the spirit was given when they laid hands upon him and said, Give me that ability as well. I'll, I'll even pay for it. Simon was only thinking for himself and not as a gift from God. That didn't really impress Peter much. Peter answers, May your money perish with you because you thought you could buy it with uh, money and you have no part in this ministry at all. And oh, he's really mad. You better repent of your wickedness wickedness and pray for forgiveness. You are full of bitterness and a captive to sin. And Simon answers, can you pray for me instead so that none of these things, bad things happen to me? And he goes, I can't do it. And Peter just shook his head. So you see, Rusty, I don't think uh, Simon started off like a big sorcerer and stuff like that. I think he started off really small and doing small things and then it just kind of grew and got away from him. And got to the point where he wasn't really uh, wanting to be part of God. And he was just kind of going through the motions. So do you think your astrology and horoscopes and that kind of stuff is really that necessary? No, not really. I think it's kind of silly now. Well, well, I'm glad you think that way too. So anyway, I think that's it for this week. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.